Hey guys, so I haven't done a vlog for a really long time, mostly because when I did my vlogs, they were only for a school um, project that I had to do. But I thought, you know, maybe I'd do one for my regular vlog. And um, I've been at camp this entire last three weeks, um, so I figured I'd tell you a little bit about that. I guess just a little background as far as um, my experience with Christian camp. I've been going to a Christian camp since I was in fourth grade, um, and that makes this my 12th summer um, at a Christian camp. Um, uh, the camp I work at now, Camp Carl, is not the camp I grew up at, um, but still, it's just been a constant in my life. Um, and when I was 12 years old at camp, one of my counselors asked me how my walk with Christ was going. And that's really what um, sparked a change in my relationship with Christ. Um, it's really when I um, took charge of it and had the understanding that I do have a relationship with Christ. And it's not just um, that I've been saved. It's that I can be walking and talking with Him. Um, in my everyday life and so the age group I work with at camp is, are teenagers um, and I just I love it because that's the time when my life was really impacted by camp and changed so being able to work with these girls is just like looking back on my own self um, and it's just such an amazing opportunity and an amazing ministry to really share the love of Christ in a setting that feels safe for the kids and that is basically a 24-7 thing um, from the time they get here on Friday evenings or on Sunday evenings to the time they leave on Friday afternoon it's just constant love um, and it's you know it's just an amazing experience so I've been going to camp for more than half my life which is bizarre to say um, but I don't you know, it's another summer for me working here, and every summer is different, and I'm excited to see how God's going to work in this summer. We just finished our second week. Um, my girls actually left maybe two or three hours ago, um, and we had our final staff meeting um, for the week. But it was, it was such a good week. The first week, so last week, we had four high school girls, and a couple of them are, were returning campers that we had from years before, so... It was great to see how they're growing in Christ and just maturing in their walk. Um, and just to touch base with them about how their lives are going. Some of these girls come from backgrounds that just blow my mind. Um, things that I haven't had to deal with as a 20-year-old that they're dealing with as 13-year-olds and 15-year-olds. Um, it's just it's crazy intense. Um, but in the same instance, it's amazing to be able to share God's love with them and let them know that no matter what they're going through, you know, Christ can take care of that and he'll be a constant in your life. Um, and then also this last week, so my girls that just left, we had nine middle schoolers, um, which is completely different than the week before. These girls would not stop talking. Um, me and my co-counselor would laugh sometimes because they just would talk and talk and talk and talk over each other. Um, but it was a really great time, really energetic. Um, we had good cabin unity. We didn't have any fights going on between girls. Um, most everyone was included in all the activities. Um, not to mention that they were beast at the activities. Um, we had to put on a dance and these girls just, they got the moves and it was really great to see them succeed at things like that. Um, and then at the end of the week, we have what are called one-on-ones, where the counselors will spend time individually with each girl, just talking about what they learned during the week and um, how their relationship with Christ is going. Um, oh, I just had really good one-on-ones today. Um, one of my girls came to know Christ, and it was amazing just to see that transformation in someone so young. Um, because that's around the age where it really hit me. So it was neat to see that again in someone else, um, but this time as the counselor, not the camper. And we prayed together 
and we were sitting on a rock and she told me she after we finished praying she's like I just feel so much lighter and I was like that's that's exactly how it should feel um, and um, I asked her what she was thinking and she told me she's like I think that when I get off of this rock I'm going to leave my old self behind on the rock and the new me is going to be standing and I was like yes like let's stand up um, and it was absolutely amazing just to have an experience like that um, with, you know, it's like looking back on my past and saying, like, that's how camp impacted me. And it's such a good ministry to be able to have that effect on um, young girls and young guys because there's guys here as well. Um, and I was just really excited about that. Um, and I'm excited for the weekend too, some rest. I'm obviously losing my voice, um, which is, you know, typical of camp because we're talking constantly um, and running around like crazy. But that's a little slice of my week for week two at Camp Carl. Um, and hopefully we'll be talking soon. <laughs> Bye, guys.